Hi everyone, and welcome to more speed run. Um, I'm going to try go up the levels from 1800 now. Uh, let's start with a black line, and the whole point of this is for me to talk through my thought process, try to work out typical mistakes that players make in a certain rating boundary, and to give you good tips to improve. So, uh, well, you should know the black line by now. I like breaking down openings into stages and this is stage one putting your knights like this uh, and the next thing you need to do is try to get some space in the center my opponent playing very sensible moves at the moment and this one uh, already is a slight mistake at, at the lower levels it seems that players like releasing the tension much quicker there's no reason to capture this pawn keep it there as a threat because now when I capture my bishop has more squares he can develop to so this only helps me this this move and it's very common this idea at the lower levels now if I if I didn't have a pawn here I wouldn't better play my next move but um, I can now develop my bishop to a more active square so I'm gonna bring it out where uh, I create a little pin and here after castling I'm at least equal uh, and when you're playing with the black pieces, it was Karpov for first set with white. I try to get a small advantage with black. I try to get equality. And now I've just got to think about how to improve this position. One of the advantages of this structure for me is that this move here allows me to control this central square, stopping my opponent moving a piece in there. But this square here could be something that I could try to take advantage of later on. Now capturing here bishop takes taking here allows bishop takes pawn with many simplifications and these look a little bit clumsy to me so I'm just gonna bring my bishop back and it looks very secure either on this square which I'm gonna bring it to defending that pawn and I was also gonna say this square here was looking like an okay move. Now my opponent has made some space on the queen's side but that doesn't really worry me this could even be a weakness later on position very equal at the moment so my opponent doing a good job so far and here i've got to think about how to get my pieces out and, and these two guys are the ones which are blocked up now very normal would be to gain a tempo and then pin this knight i like that idea getting but getting those guys in the, in the game. But this knight's not very good here. The normal route that the knight takes is coming in to the center like this. But I am running a bit short of time, so I, I'm gonna play this one and just make sure I get my light square bishop out. Let's keep it simple for now. Okay, so we'll create a pin and I've got full development now. And again, like I say, I don't really like where this knight is because I can't get it in anywhere, but maybe I can reroute it later on. Very strange move from my opponent. Maybe he's gonna come here. And now I wanna connect my rooks and improve my position. This pawn is a little bit weak, so let's just go here. And this pawn, you notice, is very well placed. And when I say improve my rooks, I always have this possibility. But again, I'm just looking at improving all my minor pieces. This pin is very useful. My opponent's put his rook here, so the first thing that springs to mind is bringing the knight to this square. But then pawn here might hurt me a little bit. I'm just going to play the move h6 to stop my opponent pinning me and just to take some more squares over here. Uh, okay, now the reason I didn't put my knight here was that my bishop keeps this square. I don't want to lose this pin and if he tries to break the pin he weakens his king side and my bishop can drop back here. Okay, so now I think it's trying to try and take the open file. Again, very simple moves because I want to get rid of the rook so I can try to double his kingside pawns by capturing the knight. Maybe this knight can come back this way where it has a bit more pressure against the center because it's not doing anything over here. The bishop is dominating it. Okay, well I'll move my rook to the open line. And now this move is certainly a threat and he's allowed me to do it. He's moving a bit too quickly and now I can cause some really bad structural damage to his king. The next thing I want to do is just to keep improving my pieces. But I'm also seeing his king is quite weak. So I want to get my queen over there. So a normal move now is to move the knight here. Allow my queen to come in. But also my knight might find a very nice square there at some point. Hovering around his king. Now I expect him to try and swap rooks off. 
he hasn't done that. He's moved his king over here. Now I could come in like this, but I want to really want to try to maneuver these pieces. Can I do anything with him? I can't see it. Maybe thinking about what he wants to do. Maybe he wants to bring his queen out like this. And my rook is not actually doing a great deal on the open file. The target is now the king side. So I'm going to use the swinger to try and bring my pieces, bring three pieces near his king. Okay, so there is a threat, bishop here. But I'm going to continue by bringing things over towards his king. And I'm covering all the entrance points for his rook on the open file. Yes, he has the open file, but I don't think he can do much with it. I want to bring my queen over. I'm not sure what I'm doing there. Maybe I can even bring it here, target that one. Can I get my other pieces into the game these two guys It'd be brilliant if i could but i can't see how so maybe my idea is queen here then bring the knight in because if he takes my knight i can take with a check he's put his queen on a very weird square but he wants to swap off like this okay let's bring the queen in anyway and maybe not a crazy move from my opponent but i'm going to continue with my knight coming into this square because I'm now threatening to take this pawn. I think he's got to get rid of my knight, but I will recapture with a check. We've both got two so two pieces offside, so they cancel each other out. So I'm really just looking at all the pieces over here, and I think it's clear to see that my pieces are much better. Okay, so he's got to block here, and now I want to increase the pressure even more. Can I bring the pieces around? This bishop might come, but the bishop would be very good here, wouldn't it? So now I've got to move the knight. Where do I move the knight? He's not threatening to take here yet because it's pinned, his rook. So let's move the knight now around and try to get my knight and bishop improved structurally. If he tries to come out of the pin, I will take there with check. And if he recaptures, this check. Maybe I could have done that before. That would have won a piece, so I've missed winning a piece. I'm just trying to keep it very simple. I'm trying to I'm trying to win this game without any complications. I'm trying to win it just by moving my pieces to better squares. So for example, I want this idea. Okay, well, my knight is attacked. Let's move it. And I want this idea. Then every piece of mine has found a good square. Have I let the knight come here? Wow, my queen could have come back. It wouldn't have been the end of the world. Okay, well, now he, he is defending very well. Um... I'm going to not allow that one because then he takes here. So he has played a very good move at the moment. My time's very low, God. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I don't wanna lose this game, so I'm gonna have to come in, but he's defended very well. I didn't really wanna sort his pawns out and I haven't played this well. My maneuver far too slow. I had to win that piece. Okay, I wanna keep the queens on the board because my opponent's king is weak. I can try to target these guys. Okay, my bishop now comes to the diagonal that I wanted to get it on creating a checkmate threat on g1. My queen is threatening to come in to that square. He defends it. Let's keep my queen active. My queen was attacked. I'm threatening another check here as well. All, well, he can't get his queen into any dangerous squares at the moment. I'm defending those ones. I've got the extra pressure. Is this one threatening anything? Well, I have to give a check anyway. Um, and now let's move the bishop into this square. He's got one check, but it doesn't do anything. I didn't see how this could help me but i now have the threat a queen takes pawn okay queen takes pawn let's win a pawn with check okay and now we come in with another check i need to get my knight in i feel let's move the knight straight in but he has a counter attack now i'm down to 20 seconds and he's got this one nope my queen defends it that was lucky but fortune always favors the better position okay but again can i finish this game off with the time that I have. I'm threatening checkmate on h2 and we got there just in the nick of time. So I spent a little bit too long explaining that one but my position was always good. I was actually a little bit lazy when I had the pieces around my opponent's king not finishing finding the killer blow. So everything was going very smoothly here. I was just looking at my knights and bishops and trying to improve them whilst trying to stop my opponent finding good squares for his pieces. So this move here was quite crafty because it stopped any idea that he could improve his pieces. And again, I was just playing normal moves, trying to keep the pin, try to get the open file, nothing that dramatic. And I ruin his king sign now in this position. And my big mistake though was everything was being played very nicely. 
but when my opponent got this position here where he's defensive I missed this idea and the Queen coming in winning a piece had I played that it would have been a pretty smooth game okay let's try to get another one in uh, we'll just keep it a two game speed run here I'm still a bit under the weather I had a bit of COVID recently so I'm just taking things a little bit more easy at the moment we're going to go straight for the Jabava London system uh, I think this is a great opening for you guys to play and he's gone for the Dutch okay wow so one of my favorite openings the Dutch and I'm going to play my knight out to c3 because already the move e4 is a positional threat and he wasn't he played a really I mean typical error there he wasn't really looking at what I was trying to do and I always feel that getting the pawn to this square is very advantageous to me because I have very nice center now another thing I love doing is I'm sure you're aware well you know what I'm going to play here don't you whenever they fianchetto I love using my h pawn to attack that setup and to try and break down that setup and I'm going to continue with this one because my opponent by playing the pawn to f5 has very much weakened his light squares and look at the h pawn go I can simply take here and I'm already doing some damage to his king my king is very safe but my opponent's king does not look particularly safe so his position of his king looks really quite dangerous but I can't get my queen there because his knight is defending it if I move my bishop here he has pawn here now is there a tactic knight takes knight takes so then I get my queen to this square attacking his knight and threatening pawn on I'm gonna I like that one I don't see how he's gonna defend so I'm gonna bring another piece into the attack potentially threatening this check and if he plays his pawn to this square the idea is I want to draw his knight away from this one because that's the ideal square for my queen so I'm gonna keep my light square bishop as that's a very nice attacker I'm gonna move my queen into this ideal square and now g7 is the big threat but I'm also threatening his knight so here I think I might have checkmate g7 and then taking here was one very strong idea but do I have check king here check e6 checkmate so let's just look at that check king here check king here and then queen there must be a checkmate I can't see it though ah oh, bishop here check pawn here queen takes check must be a checkmate let's work it out so check king here check king here check king here should we go for it let's let's go for it I can't work it out I'm too lazy my time's ticking down but I see I have at least a perpetual check so when you're trying to work out a combination if you see you have at least a perpetual check you can make it a little bit easier and my calculation is certainly especially as I'm, I've got brain fog at the moment is not as strong as it used to be okay so here I saw I had this check and his king has to come back my queen is attacked do I have anything else I don't think so so we're gonna have to go for this check obviously g7 was a very strong idea but this looks so attractive now he's threatening to move his e-pawn is there really nothing here amazed this one and then I'm threatening nothing this check his king comes out and am I really not threatening anything there what an amazing position it looks like I should can I move my a pawn so I've got queen b5 check but then e6 and he threatens my queen and do I have a good move after e6 I can't see it knight here knight here his pawns in the way rook here knight takes okay I've got to play this because it's oh, I can't because the e6 still then bishop takes king takes chair I can't see the mate guys unbelievable unbelievable I'm not winning this position I should have gone for the simple option regretting doing this now I'm gonna play this one I don't really believe it because my queen has no checks but this move was very very strong 
and now I'm stopping his e-pawn from moving because I can take it with checkmate. So I'm playing this move just to keep some attacking chances. But I can't see the checkmate. Maybe you guys can improve and try to find the winning combination that maybe I missed there. Okay, so he's gone here. Now this, let's just show where I've got the draw, of course. <laughs> and I can come back now. Now this check here takes... Oh, this is very strange. Or takes here check, but then this one. I've got an amazing idea. I've got an amazing idea. I've never castled and given checkmate, but I, oh, it won't be checkmate so he can block it, but I've still got an amazing idea, guys, that I have to go for. An amazing idea. Oh, it doesn't work. I wanted to go bishop here, takes castles, but he has king c6. Bummer. Okay, so if we check him, his king runs, and I don't think I want his king to run. So let's go, then his knight comes in here. I've got 40 seconds. My opponent is talking a lot in the chat, but okay, he's allowed to do that. Okay, he's actually defended this position. It's quite remarkable. And why did he do that? Why did he give up his queen? Unbelievable. He's given up his queen, which I can't believe. We'll have a look at this afterwards. It's an absolutely fascinating game. I've just got to make sure now I don't lose on time, but he felt the pressure. He had a great t chance to beat a grandmaster there and he completely crumbled by just giving up his queen. And he's gone on a suicide mission here, which, um, well, 30 seconds is plenty. And I'm just gonna take everything, but it's such a fascinating position, this one. I, I, I wonder, um, I'm literally gonna take everything here because, uh, um, why not? <laughs> I wonder if I miss something even easier in this in this sequence. So what a what amazing position! I'm going to let you guys have a look at this, but I'll have a quick glance afterwards. Make sure I try to finish this game off first. Going to bring all the pieces in for a little bit of the party. Let's bring the knight in. Why the hell not? Let's bring the knight even more. Is there a stalemate there? Well, I'm very very close to stalemating him, but. Not quite yet, because he can move his king. And this one is getting extremely close now. Should we go for a pawn or knight checkmate? Let's go for a knight checkmate. Okay, well, let, let's have a look then. I mean, this is what, I mean, okay. I mean, I was doing this more more because this is one of my big mistakes. I, I get carried away with the glamorous, exciting moves rather than the moves that just win. And in this position, had I gone g7 check, knight takes here, and taken his rook, the material is pretty much even, but I have this really strong attack still, so I'm not risking a lot. The way I played it was quite interesting, because we went for knight takes, and then queen here, and then this check, bringing his king into the open. But... Oh, this is the kind of thing I might do in a longer time limit thing, but I didn't see a win here. I only saw the possibility of taking a draw. Now, a draw is not the end of the world. You can always take the draw, but if you don't see the win and there's a better possibility, why go for this complicated line? But this is fascinating, right? Where is the win here? Is there a win? Now, the check must be correct, and my opponent didn't allow my bishop to come in check, so he played the correct move. But I'm not convinced there's a win in this position. This check seems correct, but what do I play here? Again, I'd love to hear your comments in the chat if you guys can find a better move. This move was a brilliant idea, trying to bring another piece into the attack, because if knight takes, he gives up this square, the queen comes here, checkmate. But after rook here, I think he just goes e6. And then I was thinking, bishop takes here, king takes, rook check, and the king comes back, and I couldn't see a win there. Phenomenal position. And my other idea, let's just have a look where it went wrong, was, okay, again, I'm just proving I have the draw. Maybe what I should have done, my first thought is this check. This might have been the winning idea. Because if he blocks, then this is checkmate. And if he goes here, I can go here. And now this is a checkmate threat again. And surely this is very strong now. 
But I saw what I thought was another lovely idea, and I wasn't playing the pragmatic moves, I was playing the moves which uh, look nice, and I missed something, and I thought this at least keeps him hemmed in. And I thought here, okay, we show who's boss, that I had a brilliant idea playing bishop f4, and when he took here, castling queenside, checkmate. But his king can go to this square. Now, I'm actually probably still doing all right here, but maybe not, actually. I've given up a lot of pieces. A really weird position. Who knows? But my opponent went completely wrong. If we go back to the game, I, I, I started panicking here because I've done a lot of time in. And after this check, why did he block with the queen? You should always try to play the most critical moves. And had my opponent just moved the king here... I'm not sh so convinced by my position anymore. I do have a bit of ongoing pressure. The rook comes in. I've got a long-term attack. But he's always got this move here. Queen coming here. And I'm not convinced anymore. Might have lost this game. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it there for now. Uh, please like and subscribe to this video. I'm going to try to get more videos done. But still got a bit of recovery to do. Extremely fatigued from... I think it's like, you know, I had I tested positive for COVID and maybe a cold as well. Had some breathing issues. It's all better. I'm just a bit fatigued, so I'm all fine. Just nice to have a rest, isn't it, sometimes, you know? <laughs> but I will be back with more videos. Like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Interesting games today. Can you do better than me in that game? There's your challenge. Bye for now.